Ripple XRP, the SEC are getting away with this. We do have some breaking news that came in today as to how the SEC have now issued an apology in front of the courts, which to be honest with you is quite laughable. And this is an apology for all of their wrongdoings and they don't want to be sanctioned. So we're going to take a look at all of that information and we will be looking at the price action for both XRP and XLM coin. All I ask from you are two things, which is to smash that like button and to subscribe to the channel as well. And I hope that all of you are having a great holiday as well and enjoy enjoying your time. So the breaking news that we have is that the SEC says that it deeply regrets the errors made in the case against crypto firm Debtbox but believes that sanctions are unnecessary. So as we know there was a recent court filing that showed that the SEC's attorneys were basically not telling the truth, they were not upholding their oath and there was a lot of misrepresentation in the facts of the case. And not only that but the SEC are not fond to sanctions when it comes to them getting caught. So what we have today is that the SEC has now declared that they deeply regret errors in crypto case and they ask the judge to waive sanctions after misleading statements. So this goes to show what the SEC are after and they're definitely not wanting to be held accountable. So the attorneys for the SEC apologised to a judge on Thursday for misrepresenting facts used to secure a restraining order and asset freeze against a crypto firm. Now when it comes to the courts, attorneys should know themselves that an apology does nothing. When you commit a crime, an apology doesn't mean that you get to go about your day and then you are never seen again. That's not how the courts work. The courts make sure that the criminals are held accountable and this is what they have done right. Imagine if a company were to for example lie to the SEC. Imagine how that would go down. They would essentially be fined without question. They would not accept an apology. So how can the SEC get away with this? The only one to get away with it when they can and it's on their own terms and it goes to show that it's one rule for them but it's one rule for us and it says over here I fully appreciate the extraordinary responsibility entrusted to the SEC when enforcing federal securities laws and that was by the chief and I understand that the division fell short of these standards in this case and I apologize for that shortfall. You can't say that you understand that it fell short of the standards. It's actually meant to meet those standards and with that Gary Gensler should be stepping down himself for all of this wrongdoing happening and the SEC alleged that the project had defrauded investors out of nearly 50 million dollars and again if I wonder that if I'm to say sorry when I do some sort of wrongdoing can I also get away with misrepresenting facts, with telling inaccuracies and not telling the truth as well? Is that how it works? For me, an apology doesn't cut it and it never will. And also it never should, especially when it comes to legality and regulations and the law. An apology does nothing for us. These guys are professional scammers. They're doing it right in front of our faces. They're not keeping it quiet. And the fact that they want the sanctions to be waived goes to show that they believe that they are higher up than anybody else. And it's not on right. We're not having it as investors. We have a tweet coming here from James saying that the XRP community for your information from Wall Street Journal noting Ripple win and quoting Stuart Adultery, the SEC's willingness to sue crypto projects doesn't scare the industry as much as it used to. Well of course it doesn't because we know that the SEC is coming left, right and centre for a lot of crypto projects out there and every time there is a lawsuit on a crypto project, well some investors may actually turn away from that specific cryptocurrency because it is undergoing a lawsuit but not only on the retail side of things, how about when we look at the institutional side side of things. A lot of companies steer away from that cryptocurrency because the SEC or the big dogs are now pursuing them for a lawsuit and no company wants to be invested into any cryptocurrency that is undergoing a potential lawsuit and that is what we are seeing with Ripple XRP. And for the past while a lot of people are not taking the SEC very seriously. And from Tom Emma we have a tweet saying that Gensler's SEC sides with Wall Street not Main Street. We know that now they are doing dealings under the table. Of course they're going to be with Wall Street because they are the ones that are basically dictating this whole market and the big boys will be making the money not the little retail investors and he announced that he is proud to join Warren Davidson as a co-lead on his bill the SEC Stabilization Act so we can fire Gary Gensler. So Warren Davidson announced I think yesterday that he wanted to see Gary Gensler to be fired in 2024 or he thought the fact that it would be a great time for him to be fired then but people are basically responding to Tom Emmer saying when is this going to happen because it's all talk and no action because we've not seen anything and you'll see over here back in June that Emma and Davidson introduced the SEC Stabilization Act to remove Chair Gary Gensler and the reason as to why I'm saying that they're not taking any sort of action is because of the fact that they have not yet issued a subpoena and therefore how are they going to be removing Gary Gensler if they won't be taking him to court to be held accountable and so it does seem like as if it's all words right now but people definitely want to see Gary Gensler 
being fired in general. So XRP price, we are currently trading at 0.6347. We are up by 0.69% on the one day chart. On the volume, we are down by 32.94% and we are trading at $1.2 billion. If we have a look at the earlier hours of the morning, we were trading at about 63 cents, not doing too bad at 0.6312. The lowest that we went to for the day currently is at 0.6267. Now we have climbed up by quite a bit. We are back in that 63 cent zone. On the seven day chart, we are up by 2.42%. As you can see, we did come down over here where we were trading at that 64 cent zone and we were actually in that 65 cent range as well. We've come back down. However, we are doing decent with the price action at 63 cents. At least we are not trading at 60 or 61 cents like we were before, but we need it to hold this level at 63 cents to show a sign of support. And then we can hopefully move on to 65 cents. For Stellar XLM coin, we are currently trading at 0.1312. We are down by 0.29% on the one day chart. For the volume, we are down by 21.77% and we are trading at $112 million. So in the earlier hours in the morning, we were trading at 0.132. The lowest that we went to for the day was 0.1284, which is not that bad. And you'll see over here that we did take another dip at 0.1292. So we are within that 13 range zone. On the seven day chart, we are up by 4.78%. Now the lowest that we went to on the seven day chart is looking at around about 0.1238 or near enough. Now we did go from the 0.1251 level just two days ago, all of the way to that nice high of 0.1321. I definitely want to see Stellar XLM coin hold this 13 cent region and hopefully we shouldn't come back to the mid range of the 12 cents. Guys, if you want daily XRP and XLM coin news, subscribe to the channel and like the video as well.